Especially in the second half, I thought they all stepped up their games and they defended. We just did a great job on the backboard. You know, um, Duquesne's a young team, and, and um, you know, I think our, our experience went on. Talk about the offensive execution as a whole. It just seemed like really from the get-go, you guys were comfortable out there. You were making shots. You shoot better, better than 50% in both halves. Just talk about uh, you know what you guys were able to do from that end as a whole. Um, I'm just looking at the band. Um, you know, we knew they were going to play in a man. We knew they were, what they were going to do. Um, we had played in once. Um, and we executed. We really emphasized every day execute. And I thought we shared the ball. We told them if we had more than 15 assists, we would win. Um, and we did. We had 16. We took care of the ball for the most part. But we executed. And, and you know, the guys are, are playing well together. Talking about be, being in the situation where you know, it's a it's a tie game or a two point game at the end there, and then you guys, you know, have that those moments where you make the shots yeah. lead and kind of get some of the stops that you need yeah. at the end there. Yeah, we made the plays when we needed to make the plays. Baskets uh, when we needed them. Um, the seniors stepped up and did a great job. And I thought Marquise did a good job too in, in terms of he had some critical baskets uh, when we needed. Defensively, uh, you know, there were some moments there where they go on their little one. There were little runs, but you guys holding to 39 percent. A better job on the three-point line this game than the than the first one. Talk about the job. Yeah, we didn't do a great job in the first half. We were, you know, sinking in a little bit, but we made a little bit of an adjustment at halftime and did a much better job of, of getting to the three-point shooters. And you know, it's it's three-point shooting, and we say it all the time: it's fickle. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. And they were hitting them early, and then late, you know, they weren't. And that was, you know, partly them missing and partly uh, you know, they got a defensive presence. And then you guys do some of the other things too, like even rebounding today, which maybe you don't always win. Today you hold a 35, 26 advantage in that category. Some, some of those things too, just kind of areas where you're able to kind of impose yourself a little bit. Yeah, we we were um, we were down four at halftime, um, and we won by whatever it was nine. Um, you know, so we got rebounded by 13 in the second half. So that's a big key. You know, you know reading in the paper today, you know, Coach Furry said that. If, if um, the game was going to win, they needed to be on That was you know, a, a big point of emphasis uh, today's walk. And this is the first time that you guys have won here, <coughs> you, you know, since you've been coach here, and in snapping that losing streak, but also, um, I don't know if you know, tying the record for most road eight ten games. This yeah. is just something to speak to. to yeah, this. I don't know. It's it's um, we really don't get caught up in that stuff. Every team is different. Every team has different players. Um, you know, it's great to win in Pittsburgh. I guess we haven't won yet, but. Uh, that's not something I get caught up in. 